What's going on guys? My name is Will. So I got my Reloxifin here and it is, I believe, Evista would be the brand name, uh, but I think I got the generic version. But after, so just to go back, 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 when I was in high school, I'm 22, about to be 23 next month, around 17. I took a PCT. Did everything fine, games were fucking great. PCT, Nova, I did all that stuff and had no issues, no no puffy nipples, no nothing. And um, after that I lost the gains, of course. Maybe kept like five pounds, but all the other gains were lost. Uh, a couple months later, after things settled down, um, I decided to take another cycle um, of four hormones. And uh, I think it was like, Epistain and um, M stain, some dumb, dumb compound pro hormone. And uh, I think I was on it for about maybe a week and I got off of it right away because I was having chest pains. I, I cycled off of that with Nova and also took um, a natty test and uh, an AI as well. And um, this was, fuck, like four, four years ago. I actually didn't start developing this lump in my chest to about six months ago. And it's weird. Because when you think about gyno, it's usually both your breasts and males. Now, mine, I don't have anything on the right hand side, but it's just on my left, which is pretty weird. I've been doing research. My first doctor I went to, go see a surgeon. Went to go see the surgeon. Yeah, we're gonna have to do surgery to do this. Fuck, I don't want to do surgery. I've looked at people doing surgery. I don't want to, I don't, that's like my last, last resort. And I went to go see an endo. Told him about the Reloxifen. Did a bunch of research on Reloxifen and I'll put that below. I'll put the links below so you can see the research that's done as well. I'm not telling you to go out and try this. This is an experiment I'm doing for myself to see if this actually works because a fucked up thing is that they actually stopped doing all studies for gynoclemicia. They kind of just like threw it in the trash and was like, okay, surgery is the only fucking way you can get rid of this. And if there's a possibility of something, maybe this helping, oof, it, it, cha it changes the game because people aren't going to be paying five, ten thousand $10,000 to get surgery when they can go and get this and this can be a possible treatment. I'm no doctor, I'm no, I don't have any medical experience, I can't give you medical advice, this is just from what I've researched and from what I've came to my own conclusions. From what I see, Reloxifene is very promising. Tamaxofen, also another name, Novadex. Tamaxofen has, I, from what I read, it's an older drug compared to Reloxifen and Reloxifen's newer and it's better at targeting certain areas, which is the breast. And Reloxifen, it's a drug that's actually prescribed to women that are going through menopause and also that have osteoporosis uh, to help uh, with that bone density. Now, from what I've researched, uh, Reloxifen can also help men with gynecomysia by reducing the size of the mass in the booby <laughs> in the chest. Like I said, surgery was my last option. Now I really wanted to try, and I'm a person that likes to experiment with things and try new things and try things that maybe are kind of like on the edge but could possibly work. If they don't, they fucking don't. If I get fucked up, I get fucked up. I mean, so this is just for information and educational purposes. I'm not, like I said, I'm not promoting you to do this stuff, not to follow my steps. I make my own decisions and you make your own decisions. But all in all, I'll show you my, my gyno. Yeah, you can check it out for you. So pretty much, I don't have gyno on my right side. So that would be your left. I only have it on this side. Now, you really can't tell. If you look closely, this is the mass right here that I have underneath. That's how big the mass is. It's pretty fucking big. Now on this side, I don't have anything. You see, see that? And if I flex, there's literally nothing here. That's just straight, straight muscle. 
Now on this side, if I flex, I have this mass right here. And this mass, this is all muscle, and then you get to this mass right here. And I can literally grab this off my boob. Now you can't really tell, especially with the tattoo, but you can kind of see that this kind of sags down a little bit more. Also from the side, it looks a little bit more like boob-like, I guess, compared to this side, which is a little bit more cut. Also when I do this, you can tell that this is pretty solid, but you can see this mass right here, right? You can literally see this mass. Like I said, I didn't start developing this until about six months ago. My dosing that I'm going to be doing on Relaxifin, first and foremost, I'm doing a six month therapy with this to see how it does on the gyno itself. And by the way, I did get an ultrasound. I got my blood work. I've seen three, three specialists and I do have gyno on this side, but not on this side, which is kind of weird, but it, I guess it fucking happens in rare cases. Anyways, getting back to the Relaxofen. Now I'm doing 60 milligrams every single day for six months. Took my blood work already for the first month. On the third month, I take another blood work. And on the sixth month, I take another blood work just to make sure all my shit's straight and nothing's getting fucked up. Again, I do not recommend this. This is just something that I'm doing and thought that I'd share while I do this. Again, my gyno is not too bad. I personally just don't like having this fucking little uh, lump under my boob. The tattoo covers it up pretty well. And people ask me to, oh, was it the tattoo that maybe made your titties sensitive, blah, blah, blah. No, I got this tattoo two and a half years ago. And like I said, I didn't start developing this until about six months ago. It was very small, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was fucking hurting like a bitch. This side did not. I don't know. But another thing I'm doing is I've cut out all crappy shit out of my diet. All the soy foods. I cut out all the bread that has soy, all the milk. Everything that has soy, I cut it out. Because soy also acts like estrogen. It mim mimics estrogen in the body. Plastic. I stopped using a microwave. Plastic also mimics estrogen in the body and can cause higher levels of estrogen. So if you're using plastic, be careful. And not just microwave plastic, also cold plastic that you freeze and shit. Also fucks with your stuff. Yeah, that's some stuff I've cut out. Eating very, very healthy now. I've always really been eating healthy, but I've kind of took the extra step to cut out like the soy and the plastic. I don't drink that much regardless, because some people would say, oh, maybe the drinking might have upped your estrogen. I don't drink much. I maybe have a two beers on one night or two two uh vodka ginger rose whatever on uh, one night maybe once a month once every two months so that's not something that that could have caused this now i'm gonna cut out the drinking completely during this i'm gonna think about <sighs> possibly adding some vitamin d and some calcium into my regimen because of not having a lot of estrogen um, can cause uh, bone density issues and whatnot. So I'm just gonna just throw that in just as kind of just a supplementation just to make sure and a countermeasure just to make sure nothing else goes haywire. But in regards to that, I drink about maybe a gallon of water a day. I've been doing so for quite a while now. I work out pretty regularly. My schedule's kind of hectic right now. I was working out maybe four or five times a week. Right now it's about three times a week until um, stuff starts settling down and then I can get back into to the gym uh, four or five times a week. Um, Sleep-wise, sleep is a very important deal. I'm guessing I might have high estrogen, but everything came back good. You guys can follow along on this journey with me. I'll probably make a video after the first month I'm not going to do weekly, I'm not going to do daily. I'll check back on my channel though, so if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll get to them as I can. Please read the comments, don't leave duplicate questions because you're too lazy to read the damn comments.
I know this is a big issue and a lot of people want their question answered, but sometimes your question has already been answered. So just look, if it hasn't been answered, feel free to ask it. I'm willing to dive into that question with you. So besides that, again, my name is Will. If you guys need anything, just ask me in the comments below. Hope this is very educational for some. Uh, hope this can help some of you possibly in the future and uh, and direct some of you to making the right decision about your gyno. So, peace.